Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Python video. Continuing looking at the for statement with lists, sometimes we want to move or iterate through the list numerically. Well, if we know how long the list is, I could go in here and say in range and put that value. But in general, I'm not going to know ahead of time how long that list is. So instead, I can come in here and I can find the length of the list. And there is a function called length or len. So I'm going to say y is equal to len, the length function, and I'm going to say my list. Now, let's go ahead and print this just so we'll see what it returns. So I've said the list is, and I'm going to insert the link there, elements long. We'll see what it, what it comes up with. It should say one, two, three, four elements long. And for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and comment out those two statements that we're going to finish in a minute. And when I run it, it does say the list is four elements long. If I go ahead and add another and were to run it, it would say five elements long. And what I'm going to do, though, is now use what we've just done, and I'm going to say for x in range y, so I'll use that variable y that we have created, and I'm going to print the value of x, the list item, So over here in my format, and I want the element that corresponds to the value x, what I've said is to print whatever x is, x is going to be an integer, and I'm going to print the item that corresponds to x's index value. So let's run this now, and we say the list is five elements long, uh, or when x is zero, it's Bill. Well, Bill's the first element in the list, and remember that lists start with an index of zero. When x is four, that gives us George. That is the fifth element in the list. Again, they start at zero, so it would be element numbered four. The range command, because y was 5, would go 0 to 4. What it has done is it came down, got the length of the list, printed how long the list was, and then said for x in the range of the length of the list, 5, it's going to go through and iterate through, and each time it goes through the loop, it's going to print the value of x, and the item that corresponds to that x value. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.